join kids hat family Is everything fine Tofu? No. How can everything be fine? We were in the gym class when Josh and his friends came to me and started making fun of me. They made fun of you? Why? Because they all are taller and faster than me. Well, they should be. They're much older to you, Tofu. Everybody knows that, but it was so embarrassing, Tia. What are you going to do now? What can I do? Hmm. Well, let's get your mind off this nonsense. I read something interesting in school today. Should I tell you? Hmm. I guess. One day, a horse saw a snail in the meadow. Look at you. You are so slow. Hmm. The snail did not like the way the horse spoke to him. but he decided to ignore his mean comments but the horse went on and on where are you going and when do you think you'll reach there i don't understand why you need to make fun of me all the time well look at yourself it takes you so long to get from one place to another i would run miles in that time I suggest we both get on with our business and day. You know, I have an idea. Let's race. The snail thought about it for a moment. He had a plan. <coughs> okay, sure. Let's do that. How about this Sunday morning? Okay. We will race this Sunday. After the horse had left, the snail gathered all the other snails and told them what had happened. He also told them his plans. Everybody agreed and when Sunday came, They met very early in the morning. Okay everyone, spread out from the starting point of the race till the ending point. Everyone hide all along the race track. And so the snails spread out. When it was time for the race, the horse arrived. Soon the race started. The horse took off striding. After a while, he looked down and he was surprised to see the snail right in front of him. How did you get here? I must run faster. 
and so the horse started running. After some time he looked down and yet again saw a snail ahead of him. How is this possible? How can you be ahead of me? I will run even faster. The horse started running even faster. When he looked down again after some time, he saw the snail there again. This is impossible. I will run the fastest I can. Now the horse took off as fast as he could. As he neared the finishing line, he looked down, but he saw a snail crossing the finishing line. Tired and humbled, the horse gave up. I am so sorry. I underestimated you and made fun of you. Please forgive me for my arrogance. All the snails who had hidden along the race course and fooled the horse into believing that they were the same snail that he was racing heard this and laughed quietly from their hiding spots. What a wonderful story, Tia! Isn't it? I loved it too. And you know what, Tia? I know what to do about Josh and his friends. I'm feeling so much better. Oh really? What will you do? I won't get into a fight or get upset by what they say. I will just use my brains instead of muscles. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me, Tofu. Thanks, Tia. I'm going to my friend's house to make a plan. Bye. Bye, Tofu. Hey, Tia. Where were you? Everybody has left. I was waiting for you. I'm sorry, Tofu. There was something that I needed to take care of at school. What happened? Some mean kids are being unfair to my friend Gemma. I found out that they've planned to trick her into doing all the work and take the credit for it. Oh, that's so bad. What will Gemma do now? Oh well, thankfully Gemma is a smart girl. She's like the little red hen. What? Did you just call Gemma a hen? Oh Tofu, haven't you heard the story of the little red hen? No, but it sounds so interesting. Tell me Tia, tell me please. Okay. Once upon a time, a little red hen lived on a farm with a lazy dog, a sleepy cat and a noisy yellow duck. 
Hey guys, look! I found some seeds. Let's go and plant them. Who will help me? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen went and planted the seeds by herself. When the seeds had grown into wheat crop, the hen asked her friends. The seeds have grown. Who will help me harvest the crop? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen went and harvested the crop by herself. The wheat needed to be taken to the mill and ground into flour. The wheat is heavy. Who will help me take it to the mill and grind it into flour? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen carried the heavy wheat to the flour mill by herself. She alone grinded it into flour filled it into a sack and brought it back to the farm. Friends, I am very tired. Who will help me bake the bread? Not I. Not I. Not I. The poor tired hen baked all the bread by herself. Once she was done, she asked yet again. The bread smells so great. Who will help me eat it? I will. I will. I will. No way. I will eat all this delicious bread by myself. And so the little red hen ate all the bread by herself and enjoyed it completely. What a clever hen! Wasn't she? That's how you should be. You shouldn't be afraid of anyone and should always stand up for yourself. I agree. I hope Chema knows the story and will do the right thing. Trust me, she will. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.